Welcome back. In the previous video, we solved the second part of this question. That is the probability that only one of them passes the examination. In this video, we will solve the third and last part of this question. The probability that none of them passes the examination and the probability that at least one of them passes the examination. Let's begin with the third part. Once again, we know that the probability that Kofi passes the examination is 2 divided by 3. The probability that Kofi fails the examination is 1 divided by 3. The probability that Ama passes the examination is 5 divided by 8. And the probability that Ama fails the examination is 3 divided by 8. We are being told to find the probability that none of them will pass the examination. Kofi and Ama are going to write the examination, and we are being told that none of them will pass the examination. What it means is that Kofi will fail the examination, and Ama will also fail the examination. So the probability that none of them passes the examination is equal to the probability that Kofi will fail the examination, or Kofi fails the examination, and the probability that Ama fails the examination. We are being told in the videos on multiplication and addition law of probability that where we see and we are going to replace it with multiplication. Probability that Kofi fails the examination is P into bracket K complement. We have end here so times. Probability that Amma fails the examination is P into bracket A complement. So the probability that Kofi fails the examination and Probability that Amma fails the examination is equal to P into bracket K complement times P into bracket A complement. P into bracket K complement is 1 divided by 3. P into bracket A complement is 3 divided by 8. So we are going to have 1 divided by 3 times 3 divided by 8. And this will give us 1 divided by 8. So we can say that the probability that both Kofi and Amma fail the examination is 1 divided by 8. The fourth and final part of the question says that we should find the probability that at least one of them passes the examination. Here, we have found the probability that none of them passes the examination. Now let's consider these two statements carefully at least one of them and none of them. If you consider it carefully, you can see that the first statement here is the opposite of the second statement. At least one of them is opposite of none of them. So when we have two statements like that, from the videos on the laws of probability, we learned that if you have two statements like this, probability of the first statement plus probability of the second statement is equal to 1. Because at least one of them is opposite to none of them, we can say that probability that at least one of them passes plus probability that none of them passes is equal to 1. We want to find the probability that at least one of them passes. We have found the probability that none of them will pass. So we have to make probability that at least one of them passes the subject. And that will give us the probability that at least one of them passes is equal to 1 minus probability that none of them will pass. We have found the probability that none of them will pass to be 1 divided by 8. This means that probability that at least one of them passes is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 8. And that will give us 7 divided by 8. So we can say that the probability that at least one of them passes the examination is 7 divided by 8. So we can see clearly from here that 1 minus probability that none of them will pass will give you the probability that at least one of them passes. In the same way, 1 minus probability that at least one of them will pass will give you the probability that none of them will pass the examination. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve another practical problem involving probability. Bye-bye.